Welcome to BaliFit. Today's workout is going to be a 10 minute Tabata workout, and there's going to be no repeats of any particular movement. There's also no equipment required. There's going to be a preview of each movement before we go into it, so you don't have to worry about getting lost. All you need is some space, and preferably you do it with a partner. If you haven't done so already, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. That way we can stay connected for future workout. All right, you ready? Let's get started. We're starting the Tabata with push-ups. If you'd like to, you can also scale to your knees. Keep those elbows close to your rib cage and pump those reps out. Coming up we have the air squats. Keep your weight in your heels and try not to move your chest at any point during the squat. Next are the jumping jacks. Jump your feet from outside and back in while moving your arms up and down. Stay on the balls of your feet so that you can stay quick. Head over to the ground and plant one hand to the ground for a side plank. Keep your hips up and your core tight. When you feel it's hopeless, when you think that you We'll be doing the same thing and repeating the side plank, this time on the other side. We'll rise up from the dust, oh, here we go, 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 let us heal and grow. You won't be alone, we're unstoppable, don't be afraid to show what we're going for, this is what we know. Here we come back to life, we're still breathing, standing up everybody's gonna see it. Oh, all you need to know is that we're holding on, even if we fall, we will rise up. Get into a downward dog position and raise your butt to the sky. From there, you'll be doing push-ups so that only the top of your head hits the ground between reps. Back onto your feet for bodyweight lunges. Step forward and drive only out of your heel to really target the hamstrings and the glutes. We all have our reasons why we are on this track. Oh, we all have our burdens, yeah, but we just keep on fighting and we never look back. Here we go, 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 let us heal and grow. You won't be alone, we're unstoppable. Coming up, you're going to cycle your knees up to about hip height as fast as you can and spike up that heart rate. Try to stay as light as you can on your feet. Make your way back towards the ground for planks. You can be on your elbows or your hands, but whatever is on the ground should be right underneath your shoulders. A 
swan push up is where you do a push up in a way where you dive into the descent and slowly rise up back into a down dog. Make your way down to the ground for glute bridges. Drive through the heels and get your hips as high as you can. Next, you're going to sit on your butt with your hands at your side to support you. You're then going to pump your legs in and out for tuck ups. Make your way into a plank position on your hands. From there, you're going to touch your opposite shoulder and alternate hands, all while keeping your core as still as possible. Coming up, we have sumo squats. Get into a really wide stance with your feet. From here, you're going to squat down to just above parallel. You also want to point your feet slightly more outwards than a traditional squat. Take to the sky, chasing the stars. Open your eyes, watching afar. Waiting to fly, this is the start. Hide and seek, reason and rhyme. These leg up planks are a lot harder than they appear. Try to keep your leg extended to your side all while holding a plank on your hands. If it gets to be a bit too much, you can also bend your knee to make things a little more approachable. We're going to do the leg up plank one more time, this time on the other side. Time to get that heart rate high with burpees. Try to be as explosive as possible and move as quickly as you can. We're going to head towards the ground again. You can place your hands behind your head or across your chest. Keep your core tight and come up for crunches. Next we have two options. If you're feeling up to it, you can be more explosive and do clapping push-ups. If you're not there today, no sweat. You're going to do hand release push-ups where you lift your hand off the ground every time your chest is on the ground.
Last interval, team. Squat jumps to finish things off. Don't stop and jump as high as you can. Great job on that workout, guys. If you're feeling up to it, I also recommend that you rewind the video back to the very beginning to repeat the workout for one more round. If not, I'll see you guys for the next video.